The girls being introduced for the champion throw on the 20 on the 17 girls final. And what a final is expected to be. The two girls who battled and traded the record a year ago return for the Bahamas. But this time around, they have company in the form of the Jamaican Zoel Jamel. And so this battle is expected to be an intriguing one. The two Bahamians have been battling back and forth on their local circuit this season. They have already met four times. And this will be the fifth meeting between them. With the Jamaican Jamel having a terrific season herself. And it will be a danger to the two Bahamians, I'm sure. There's the lineup for the second semi-final in the under-17 girls. 100 hurdles, Emily Pennell of French Guiana, Sharifa Deferia of Curacao, Angel Robinson of Jamaica, Jenna Marie Thomas of Trinidad and Tobago, Dominique Dean of the Bahamas, and Naima Caprice of Martinique. On your mark. Second semi final, under 17 girls, 100 hurdles. Top three, short to go through, plus the next two fastest. Angel Robinson, Jamaica the favorite in five. Set. Thomas in six of Trinidad and Tobago has gone sub-14, wind assisted as they are sent on their way. For hands of Curacao, left back now is Angel Robinson, Robert Robinson storms forward for the Jamaicans. Athlete down, Robinson will come away to win it. The Trinbegonian comes through to take second position. That's Jenna Marie Thomas with the Bohemian. Darvinique Dean already a 400 hurdles silver medalist here. Finishes well to take third and qualify automatically as the Angel Robinson. 13.82 for Robinson. She has a personal best of 13.70. Has run under 14 seconds in three of her last four races. So make that four of her last five. And she is putting together a fine series of performances in the 100 hurdles as she gets through qualifying ahead of the Trinbegonian and the Bohemian. Thomas of Trinidad and Tobago second, Dean of the Bahamas coming through in third. I didn't do the hurdles, but I did run the stairs, Ricardo. <laughs> Positive so. 0.6, the wind speed is legal. 1382 for Angel Robinson, Jenna Marie Thomas at 14.01 seconds. That represents a personal best for her because her 1384 was wind assisted. And Dominique Dean at 14.04 for the Bahamas finishes in third position, also with a personal best. So the athlete speaking really well. 14.80 for Caprice of Martinique. That will get her into the final as we switch across to the javelin throw final for under 17 girls. This one is expected to be an absolute cracker. I heard you referenced it. You just couldn't help yourself in the build-up. Terry finished there. But I completely understand this one is a mouth-watering prospect. It is indeed. And uh, not only do you have the two young ladies who took the record last uh, two years and who won, uh, of course, the gold medals, but you have the young Jamaican, as you alluded to, Jamel, Zoel Jamel, who's coming in with a big reputation. We are in the opening round of the competition. Strawn, the defending champion of the Bahamas, with a first round mark of 42.29 meters. She has the lead. This is the Antiguan. Zonique Charles, 34.80 performer. Will need a lot more than that for sure if she is to challenge for a medal in this event. Of course, the uh, Grenadians, as we've discussed throughout the course of the broadcast, a big reputation as well for the throws. Naomi Jones is in there, along with Jerry Ann Guy. You saw Paul Phillip, who coaches Anderson Peters. A fall for Charles of Antigua. Clara Cusson of French Guiana now. 
35.01 at her best. Can she produce her very best here? Let's that one fly. And uh, that may be a red flag for her. It finds no pushes in the ground, I don't think. The spear must make an impression on the ground. It doesn't have to stick in the ground, but it has to make an impression. So it can dig out a bit of dirt, it can skid along a little bit, but it must make some sort of impression on the ground. Angel Curiel of Curacao. If any of the top names slip up, she could take advantage if she has a really good day. A 39-24 performer on the brink of 40 meters. Let's fly. And that is not a bad effort. It looks beyond 40 meters. The early lead, 42.29 from Camara Strawn of the Bahamas. And the Curacao athlete, Angeli Curiel, challenging that mark. I don't think it will be good enough for the lead, but it may well put her into second position. Early days yet in the javelin throw, but they've, of course, got a fantastic program, have the Bahamians, as do the Grenadians. Let's see what Guy can do. It was 36-26 for Angeli Curiel of Curacao. So a little bit off the 40 meter mark actually, but it's good enough to have her in second position at this stage as the Grenadian gets her first throw out of the way. Now, here's a first look at the Jamaican. Zoel Jamil, a 45-48 performer. She's only thrown the 500 kilogram implement once before, and it was at the Charybda trial, so this is only her second time in competition with this weight. And uh, she starts well, letting the Bohemians know that she is very much here in Grenada, and uh, she wants to disrupt the wonderful party that they had last year. Last year, of course, we saw one, two, Scott winning the, or rather the year before, Scott won, and then last year, a one, two, oh, fantastic through there. Fantastic. Fantastic stop from DRA Scott. Silver medalist last year, the champion and record holder the previous year, lost her record a year ago. She has thrown over the record this season, the one time that she beat Kamira Strawn in their four meetings. Diore Scott has started this competition with an absolute bang. Jamel of Jamaica, 41-53. She's in second position, but I think she may be relegated to third after we get the distance for Scott. 44-63. She takes the early lead at the end of round number one. Now she's gone as far as 49.83 with that light in, that lighter implement, the uh, 500 gram. And I think we are going to see something special from her today. Back to the top of the order. Tatiana Sousa of uh, Bermuda. Four times, Camara Strawn and Deere Scott have met this season as the Bermudian falls in her second round. Nine competitors in the field, so only one will be eliminated after the first three rounds. Here comes Strawn. She wants to respond to what Deere Scott did. She was able to do it last year. Can she do it this year? That's another healthy effort. Well, this competition is heating up inside the Kirana James Athletic Stadium. Very much what we expected. These two young ladies very accustomed to battling against each other. The only time that Kamira Strong lost to Scott this season was at the Bohemian High School Championships when Scott threw 49.83, that personal best effort that you spoke about. As Naomi Jones steps forward for Grenada, 26.74 in her first round. And 
And we're waiting on the mark in the second round for Camara Strong. She had 42-29 in round one. These athletes at the Corifta level, they really go through these throws quickly, so it makes it very difficult sometimes because we're trying to get each and every throw. 43-76 was the mark for Strawn. An improvement for her and a pretty good response, but does not better 44-53 from Diorius Scott. And so Scott still has the advantage ahead of Strawn. 43-76 with the Jamaican back in third. And that's Jamel with her first round effort of 41-53. Zanique Charles of Antigua and Barbuda fall on her first attempt. Important in these horizontal events just to get a mark in in your first three when there's a field of uh, more than eight. Powers down the runway. Let's fly the implement. And uh, she gets a mark in. Gets the javelin to stick. And white flags all round for this Antiguan. Of course, we've seen Antigua and Barbuda winning a gold medal in a record fashion already in the javelin throw at these games. Malik Francis. Winning the under-17 boys event on the opening morning. Oh, that's a pretty big effort for Charles. 41.10. That moves her into fourth position. As we now have Cousin of French Guiana. Excellent PB there for Charles. Can she build on that? That one goes high from Cousin, just around the 30 meter mark. And I think the flag may be red. Maybe no impression made. The flag is red. 193, Curiel once again. From Curacao. 36.26 meters in her opening round. No, she can go further than that. Let's see if she can deliver that in, in round number two. Expected to give uh, the favorites just a little bit of a challenge, a bit of a push. She'll want to get over 40 meters as well. Well, she knows now that if she is to give a challenge, she has to throw a massive personal best. And uh, once again, I don't think that will hit the 40 meter mark. He does get the white flank though. An abbreviated approach for her, just the sidestepping it. Angeli Curiel of Curacao. Here comes Guy of Grenada, Jerry Ann Guy. 29.65 in round one. Has to go much further here. Will want to step up at least into the mid 30s. Clearly, just learning the event, that will be a foul for Guy. 36 11, by the way, for Curiel of Curacao. Not better than her first round effort as the Jamaican Jamel gets ready for her. Second attempt, the heptathlon at the Jamaican High School Championships, an open event, and she won that. Not with the 500 gram at the Jamaican High School Championships, but she was over 40 meters there as well, over 42 meters. In fact, this is her second round effort. And the implement goes flying, thumbs up, says they have seen an impression. And so she gets the white flag. Second round of the javelin throw final for under 17 girls. Zal Jamel represents Immaculate Conception High School back in Jamaica, a school known for their track and field sport, but even more so for their academic prowess. Takes really good grades to get there. Here is the race caught. Second round effort for the lefty. Oh, beautiful approach down the runway and sends that implement flying. Could that be the one? She means business this morning, Terry. 
She knows she lost her title last year. She knows she has been beaten three times by her countrywoman this season. But she also knows that this is the biggest battle that they'll have this campaign. 45.6 for the mark on that one. Extends her advantage. Scott and Strong, both members of uh, the Blue Chip Throwers. It was 39.45 for Jamel, so her first round effort of 42 or 41 53 still has her in the bronze medal position. This is Tatiana Souza. Second round effort here. Third round effort, Two. apologies for the Bermudian. Back to the top of the order as she gets the red flag. Struggling in the competition. They are flying through this competition now. The record, by the way, 4607 set last year by Kamara Strawn. And she is getting ready now for her third round effort. Strawn on the runway. That's the Grenadian. She's next. Strawn lets fly. Powerful thrower is Kamara Strawn. And she wants to put DRA Scott under pressure. She wants to let her teammate know. She wants to let her teammate feel her presence. And I think she will now. After this effort from Kamira Strong, the record holder, the defending champion, is stepping up and battling in this big final. That's a new Karifta record right there. 46.97 replaces 46.07 from a year ago. Kamira Strong is here to play. She launches a lifetime best in the Karifta Games final. And the Bohemian, the Bohemians are flying. This is great stuff. The Strawn family, once again, at least for the moment, holds both of the Karifta throwing records for the Javelin. Her brother Keyshawn winning and setting the under 20 record a couple of years ago. But the National under 18 record holder Scott still to come. Dearie Scott must be thinking not this again. Well, she's gonna have to find that 49 that she found at the Bohemian High School Championships if she is to deny this young lady a successful defense of the title. So they're double checking with the steel tape as it is a record, but that steel tape may get some work today, Ricardo. Yeah, it sure might. When Kishon Strawn set the on the 20 boys record in Kingston, when the steel tape was used, the mark was better than the original. So the steel tape brings greater accuracy. They use the electronic measure first and then pull out that steel tape in the event of a record. Won't change the fact that it's a record. 4607 the previous mark that was 4697 no adjustment will be that significant there's your record holder held the record coming into this held the title coming into this the defending champion knows that her teammate DRA Scott it has been confirmed at 46.97 for Kamira Strong They both mean business. They know how significant this is. And this is just the third round. So we're just about halfway through this event. Strong 46.97 meters. Dior Ray Scott still to answer. Here's Naomi Jones of Grenada. 31.77, her best. Almost a spectator in this amazing javelin throw party. Well, she has a front row seat for what should be, or what is already turning out to be a, f a fantastic, fabulous competition. Codrington Maycocker watches on. Coach of the two Bahamians, Paul Phillip. The Grenada coach. And there's her third round effort. 
not quite getting under the javelin. Normally when you see the javelin landing side on, it's because the athlete has thrown side on. Now the Antiguan. Zanik Charles, she's in fourth position. 41.10 in the second round. Big personal best for her. Can she improve on that and challenge 41.53, which is the bronze medal position. Shows real purpose up the runway and lets this one fly. That's a good effort for the Antiguan. Searching for a medal. Looking to deny the Jamaican who is currently in third position. Not quite in that 40 meter range, but uh, she had a very solid first round effort and will want to be able to use that as a foundation going forward. Still very much in the hunt for a medal is Zonika Charles of Antigua and Barbuda Wadadli. Thirty-nine ten was that mark for Charles. Not as good as her forty-one ten. Here is uh, Cousin, French Guyana. Massive moment in the long jump for under twenty girls as well. A championship record there will be bringing you up to speed later on. As it Cousin. In her third round. Red, green and gold. Just like Guadeloupe, St. Kitts and Nevis, Grenada, Guyana. Yeah, 30.11, that last effort. Here now from Curacao, Angela Curiel. 36-26, 36-11. This is her third round effort. Nice bouncy drive up the runway. Let's that one fly, goes high. There is an impression. Mark will be measured. But I get the feeling she might need a little more than that. She's been more or less in that uh, same area throughout the competition. Needs to get it all together. Well, that's a massive improvement. 40.47 for Angel Ecuriel. That represents that a new personal into, best. Yeah, moves her into fourth position. She goes over 40 meters for the first time. As we have a look at Jerry and Guy of Grenada. That won't trouble the top athletes in the field. As well, Jamel on Jamaica getting ready for her third round effort. Has a personal best of 45.48 meters. 41.53 here today. As I pointed out earlier, not really accustomed to the 500 kg, so might be inconsistent at times, but here she is letting fly once again. This one goes real high. But not a lot of distance there for the Jamaican. She remains in third, though. Does not get a throw that time. She is in third. Here now, though, comes Diore Scott. She's been waiting a while. She watched Strawn through that massive 46.97. She knows that she's capable of more. She has thrown further than that. Has the under-18 record. There goes Scott. Up goes the javelin. That's a big one. Tierry Scott will not go away without a fight. She is delighted and as she should be. She thinks she has the record. Look at the celebration. Has she gone over 50? She has oh, done 52-53. Has... What a performance. What a massive, massive response. Is that the throw that puts the record beyond recall? They have been training it for the last two Karifta games. And maybe, just maybe, that is the final statement 
the most significant statement, and it came from DRA Scott. I told you that that steel team is going to get a workout. Scott gets it out there, 52.53, the measurement on the electronic tape. Blue chip throws. For the first time in the history of the Carifta Games, an athlete goes beyond 50 meters in the under 17 girls javelin throw. But she passed a lot of numbers to get there. 47, 48, 49, 50, and 51. Rima Otabo was the under 18 national record holder for the Bahamas, 47.68. Uh, yeah, confirmed at 52.53 for DRA Scott. That record now history. Yeah, national under 18 record. Unfortunately, no longer a world under 18 event. Just a world under 20 event now. And I say unfortunately because I really do believe that the world under 18s was a fine event for the young athletes. And that provided that bridge as you got into the under 20s, but World Athletics figuring that it's more important to have competition at the regional level and then the only world competition for the youngsters at the under 20 level. <laughs> 